we think we have found the ideal cleaning solution for these pots. So join us back here in 30 seconds, guys. We need to create an abuck at the bottom of the, this one also. And the, the end here. Okay, guys, okay, okay. It's Min and Mac again in the kitchen, and today we're up against a little herbal here in that we're ready to do a meal. And then we found out that our pots are not up to. Um, what did you say? Um, up to par, up to what we would want them to look like presentation wise. This one is, um, I want to do a review on these pots. This one is from Montina, from Montina made in USA. It's a gourmet porcelain um, 12 inch pot. And it's a very good pot. I'm getting them drinking my pure life tea, they are back from this. It's a very good pot, but now we've found out that it has discolorations in that. You can see out around here is has that beige color, but in here is dark beige. Right in here where the fire sort of get to. And the back is not immaculate anymore. <laughs> um, I would want it to be, it has to retain, the back is not too bad of course, but in here is my biggest concern. And this other pot, which is one of, another one of my favorite favorites, this one is a what? Let me see. Natural elements, and it's good for ceramic, gas, um, okay, electric stove. And this one is made by, um, I don't know, this one of the American pot. The same thing, around here is clear and nice, in here is beige. So we're gonna see if we can find a way. Plus, these are my Anna, Anna Ron, Anna Ron, Anna Ron pots, <laughs> non-stick pots. And these are US pots again. And tell what happened. You can see the bottom of it, I was trying to see if I could get off. The oil has made a mess of the bottom of this one too. I've already had my have my gloves on. This one, same thing, and even the very handles here are looking horrible. The pot inside, the same thing with the oil as the others. We're gonna see if we can find a way. Bring those back immaculately. And this is another one. Save a member of the Anolon Anolon fa Anolon family, and the oil has made it pretty. An abuck with the bottom of this one also, and the the angle here. I hate when my pots are not really looking presentable. Same thing with the oil here. So today we're going to see if we can find something to fix these parts and I think we have found something and I want to show this to you guys we think we have found the ideal cleaning solution for these parts so join us back here in 30 seconds guys then we will do So what we're going to do, we're going to make up a solution. We're going to make up a solution. You can see I'm back in my apron. Okay, because I do not want anything to get on my clothes. So yeah, in a glass bowl, you want to wear protective gloves, of course. You're going to put some barkeeper's friend, cleaner and polisher. This you can get at Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay, so I'm gonna pour some, maybe two teaspoons. And you may wonder what I have in here. I have this 
Talon Stone Cleaner, ready to use. Daily cleaner, removes dirt and, and stains. Okay, so I put a little bit of that in. And I also put some Dawn Powder Dissolver. Power, power, Dawn Power Dissolver that you can pick up at Home Depot. All of these you can pick up at Home Depot, okay? I'm going to make a solution using those. Just gonna mix this in, mix this in. <laughs> and we're not gonna keep this onto the pot. This is an old toothbrush that I used to clean my stove, etc. etc. Okay. Don't let this, this um, solution get on your clothes, not get on your hand. So I'm just doing the inside of the pot that the oil has made as creating a, an havoc. I'm just going to let the solution stay on for approximately. Gonna remove it and we're gonna see if this will take out the the, the baked on um, oil and make this pot shine and beautiful again. Okay, so we're gonna put some around this silverware part of the pot. So, okay guys, 10 minutes has passed and the hour of the decision is here. We're going to see how these pots are. Did they come off? Did they not come off? This is a very soft head that I have here and I'm going to use this. This is not the hard one. This is a soft um, head that you can use to sort of wipe your pot and so going to use some hot water that's what we're using here some 
hot water to remove. You can see what happened here. Oh my goodness. Um, I think it took off <laughs> more than just the oil. It took off the it cleans it so much that it took off the the um whatever it, what it's called. It took that off also. So it took off the oil and I think it stayed a little bit too long. It took off the um, coating of the pot. Also, so let's go inside and see what happened here. The oil is gone. Wow. Oh my goodness. 10 minutes was just too much for the outside, but the inside is intact. And this is what the water is looking like. It has a brown color. I don't know if you can see. It, it took off the... Oh my goodness. This is great work, guys. It took off the oil and this is what the oil water looks like it's brown because the oil is was caked on so i'm going to continue to paint another scrub and see what happens on the outside everything is gone all the oil is gone and we're going to go on the silverware and see what happened over there this warm water here. You can see what happened. Oh my goodness. The silverware is totally, totally beautiful. I want to show you guys. Look at the silverware. Shiny and beautiful. No oil. Let me get my light to focus over here. Yeah, here we go. No oil on our silverware, guys. The silverware is totally shiny and beautiful. It stays on a little bit too long. Should have been less than 10 minutes because now it took off the coating of the outside, but the inside is intact and the oil is gone from the inside. Um, a little oil is over here still, but with a little scrubbing, it's all gone. Okay, so the oil on the edges are gone. The inside oil is gone. That's exhibit number one. <laughs> and the only drawback we have is that it took all the coating. It stays a little bit too long. So if you have this kind of pot. Do not let it sit for 10 minutes. I will give it five in the future. All right, so that's one. Let's go on to the next one. Let's see what became of this one. Okay, let us see the bottom of this one. Oh my glory, look at this, guys. Look at that. did not do the inside though. The inside is still, but still has that beige color. It did not restore to natural luster. So the inside did not work. The outside did work though. This is the outside. Beautiful, clean, shiny. That's the outside, so it did work on the outside of that one. 
let's go on to exhibit number three. This one I can tell it's done. Look at the water in this one. This is poured out here. How dark it is. It takes out everything out of this one. All of the oils, all the built up, everything is shining and beautiful. Guys, oh my glory. Look at the outside of this one. Look at this one. And this is just the napkin I'm using to wipe that one. All the oil and the silverware is shiny and beautiful. Look at that. Shiny and beautiful. No oil, nowhere. Inside and out. Beautiful, shiny and oil built up free. This one is taken care of inside out and the bottom is just so beautiful. Alright, so let's go to the next one. This is the next American pot. We're trying to see if we can get the inside to come back to its natural luster. It did not do the inside. This one is still brown. The beige is still dark beige and the outside well, of course, the silverware is going to, of course, be varnish free. And here, I can't tell because it's dark. So, that's another issue. I was not able to tell what went down there. But the silverware is beautiful. And the, the salt from this is brown. So, I guess it took off almost there too. Let's just wipe the silverware and see what happened. Silverware is shiny and beautiful. So we're gonna wash these and come right back. I'll show you guys um, how they are, how they look when they are washed. Oh, these are so beautiful. guys so now we are on pot number two and we did see before we did see before this that this one was totally transformed and you can see no oil all the silverware are nicely clean and beautiful and again guys if you don't have if you're living in a country where you don't have the barkeeper's friend you can use a comet or the Ajax Scratch free um, with bleach, and this one deodorizes, cleans, tough stains. Um, you can use this one if you don't have this, okay? This one polishes, but it's the same thing. And so, on the outside, no oil, no way here, no way here. This is totally gone. And the bottom of this one was this color. Inside, perfect. In between here, perfect. Totally perfect. I don't know if you I don't know if you guys can see, but there we are. Totally clean. Oil free. That's two. Let's do number three. Okay guys, this is pot number three. Let's see what happened here. The inside looks a little bit different, better than the other one. So this one is not too bad at all. Could have been better, but not bad at all. But let's take a look at the oil at the bottom. Wow, this one is impressive. Guys, this one is impressive. This one is the bomb.com. Bomb.com. Look how shiny this one is. I mean, even in the very little grooves here, only these, some of them did not come out, but even in the grooves, totally gone. Look at that. And the inside is not bad at all. The wood is lustrous and beautiful. Luster, beauty, 
very nice so that's hot and no oil around here totally 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 clean and shiny so that's pot number three okay one more to go and this one guys this one we know that it stayed a little bit too long and so the bottom of it was messed up but let's see if the oil is gone so this one, we know about this one it stayed a little bit too long we saw that in the demo and so we are going to take a look at the last one and see how this one is I really don't mind the bottom at all um, that they oh my goodness the bottom here is um, stayed a little bit too long that we know and some oil is still here so that did not come off totally but the inside is perfect the inside is perfect guys no oil at all that brown color is from been on the stove but it's not oil really there you can see it's not really oil the handles the brass silverware totally beautiful clean shiny you can see up close no oil at all so yeah it did work okay so um again the solutions that we use and even if you don't have the rest of them, these will work by themselves. The barkeeper friend and the, or the comet or the Ajax will work by themselves. Okay guys, I'm bringing you guys up closer and displaying the pots. <laughs> That's exhibit number one. Exhibit number two. And Exhibit number three. <laughs> That's how beautiful they are. And the last one. Okay. So there we go, guys. There we go with the pots. You can see how they came off beautiful. Really, really nice. Okay guys, so there we go. Those are the pots. So if in your kitchen you have you're suffering from the same fate as we are or as we were, then you know then you know exactly what to do to get them all clean and beautiful. You're gonna try the same method as we tried. As you can see, here we go. Beautiful pot, this one. Um, you can see how the bottom came off nicely. Everything. So go out there and try, guys. Try the same method as we did. Try the same method as we did. And I'm sure your pots are going to come back to their beautiful luster and presentation when, you, when you're doing your cooking. Your station, your stove is going to look so cute. So clean and nice because you went out and you know try the same method as we did and now your pots are looking shiny and beautiful on your stove as you cook so not only will your food be looking very nice and the presentation outstanding but your pots and pans will be beautiful also so we're so glad that we were able to share um, these fantastic ideas with you guys and we want you guys to go out there and try these and come back and let us know how your pots and pans came came back um, came off after using the same method that we have tried here we just want to thank you for stopping by and as usual on your way out don't forget to subscribe 
thumbs up and comment until we see you again we're just about getting ready to do a fillet a fish fillet white and fillet um, saute in um, vinegar and other seasoning spices so come back swing back around in the next 10 15 minutes to join us for that dish until then ta, -ta. see you then bye bye take care ciao la bella